Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is absolutely fantastic to have you here today. My name is Scroat. We are taking another look at From the Depths, where we will be diving back down into our glorious campaign. So let's get this baby underway. Oh, I'm so excited for this episode. Oh, I'm so stoked. So I just built, you know, a new ship, the Grandiose Mark I, and I don't know why I'm getting out of the water like that. I can just hit map and zoom out. I went ahead and built a group uh, with the Grandiose. It's called, uh, let me find it, it's called the Grand Announcement. And it is made up of just five Grandiose Mark Ones. These were really cheap. And, uh, you know, to spawn in, like, their cost is just super duper cheap. So I went ahead, spawned in five of these bad mothers, and made a group out of it, and I'm back in the water. It's super cool. Uh, okay, close. Get, get off this, please. What are you doing? There we go. And I went ahead and also repositioned some of my units, so we are ready for battle. Now, I want to try out the grand announcement. I want to take this group over here and we're gonna see how things go so here's here's the thing that I want to test with this group right these the uh, the grandiose mark one all it does is shoots you know grenades uh, magnetized grenades but I got five of these babies so I'm really curious to see how they're gonna deal with air units I don't know I'm just so stoked to try this out so here we go oh boy there's a buzzsaw so there's a buzzsaw in this group. I, now, I fully expect, like, there are no defenses on these Grandiose Mark 1s. They are super duper paper thin. Like, it's ridiculous. Let's see if we can get them as high as possible. Here we go. Come on, baby. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. New unit. It's always so fun to bring a new unit into battle, you know? It's just freaking awesome. And my thought was, let's just try to clear out the rest of these white flares. Okay. Okay, so we have a battle. Let's get down to it. I'm so excited, and I took my pants off, yabba do bow. Okay, uh, what is happening right now? Let's see. So here we go. Here's the fleet formation I created. They start at max height, 395 meters up in the air. Gives them a good starting advantage. They need it, uh, because they need the height to for, for the leverage it gives them with further shots. So let's spawn them in and get this baby kicking. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Come on. Here we go. Spawned in. Oh, look at them. They're so sexy. Okay, they're shooting. That's always a good start, right? Oh, let's go interface list. Interface off. All right, you can already see all the mines. The insanity. Let's see how a buzzsaw deals with this. We... I don't know what's going to happen. Do we have any hits yet? Okay, we've got some hits. Oh, what are you going to do, Buzzsaw? What are you going to do, bro? We're way up high. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you just going to go really fast? Yeah, he's just going to go really fast. I don't know. We're getting mines over there. <laughs> oh, no. It's raining and dark. Uh, rain, go away, please. Oh, see. Now, you know what the great thing is? Oh, and a little stinger. This is a perfect group to test out these guys with because they have two fast-moving, hard-to-hit targets. <laughs> Just launching their minds everywhere. So we, I mean, we're definitely hitting the buzzsaw. You can see it. It's just so fast. Oh, but look at all the mines in the water. Now the buzzsaw's circling. Oh, it's beautiful. He's circling around where there's tons of mines. Oh my God, look at all the mines. Holy crap. Holy smokes. And he's just... He's just driving into him. Looking ridic, you know? Oh, and the moment he stops... Like, I feel sorry for it. Like, if you stop in the ocean, you're, you're done. Also, where did that little stinger go? Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, and look at him. Look at all these mines. Whee! And they're just... They should be magnetizing. Oh, they totally are. Boosh. Here comes some. Just sort of, you know, floating around, doing their thing. Boom, boom. All right, let's find that stinger. Here's the stinger. Oh, my God. Look at all these. This is incredible. They're not very powerful, I'm seeing, but I don't know. We're, we're really making... Oh, yeah. We've already killed, like, 500 blocks on the buzzsaw. So now they're trying to hit the stinger. Oh, 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 they're landing hits! Ho oh, oh. ho. Oh, scrote likey. Yeah, scrote likey. 
Fat guy in a little coat. Fat guy in a little coat. Oh, I, I, I miss Chris Farley. For some reason, he just popped up in my head randomly, and I felt like singing, you know, the fat guy in a little coat song. I heard, by the way. Oh, is the buzzsaw gone? Oh, there is nothing left of the buzzsaw. Look, buzzsaw corpse parts. <laughs> Oh, dear Buzzsaw, you died. And look, we even hit the stinger! Stinger down. The moment the stinger hits the water, it's game over. Come on. Oh, boom! Done. Well. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely phenomenal. My jimmies are rustling hard right now. I am, I am in a serious jimmy rustling mode. There is like a slight vibration happening, I think. Okay. Uh, we've got four. Where's the fifth? Oh, there he is. And look at them all just chilling next to each other, you know, being cool, being classy. So let's pull all. I'm going to send these guys up here. And we've already got two more battles coming at us. So let's let's go ahead and get things situ situated here. Yep. And let's get the first Scrot Navy over towards this way. And let's 10 exit. Oh, that was an exciting battle. That was the first time I ever got to fight a buzzsaw where I truly uh, didn't have to actually fight a buzzsaw. Alright, so we've got the first Scrote Navy consisting of two Holinfoyas, and we are going up against a Strength 36, Force Count 3. Uh, it's, it's led by a Sparrow. Ooh, a Sparrow. Do tell. Whoa. Do tell, little Sparrow. You sexy little beast, you, with those little tiny Sparrow wings all flapping. Okay. AI's on. Oh! What the? Things are starting off weird here. Oh, things are starting off really weird. <laughs> uh, the marrow pulper has started off by being on the on the mountain there. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've oh we've got missiles going, which is great, and we've got our explosive. Oh, the sparrow's just biting it. I mean, there's there's no ifs ands or buts about it. No ifs ands or buts. I powered me yagi. Okay, Sparrow is exploding. Now, he is shooting missiles. I need I need better placement on my laser missile defense systems, which I probably, honestly, won't fix on the Holland Foyers, just because they're semi-effective, and, and that's okay with me. I'm thinking once we get to these other factions, that's where we'll really be doing the adjusting. All right, so we've got the Sparrow now. Totally biting it. I mean, we've got explosions. We've got Sparrowy goodness coming out the back end quite an enjoyable thing to see. I love the fact that this whole, I mean, this whole in for this, uh, is this a marrow, marrow pulper, right? Yeah, yeah, marrow pulper, because they're, they're annoying as heck with how fast they shoot. Look at him. I don't think he's going anywhere quick. Come on, you guys. We're up on the mountain. Why aren't we going, Captain, full speed ahead? Crank the propellers up. They're spinning. All right, so my Holden Foyer is... Actually, you know what? I bet you I have... Yep, I've got it selected. I had the weapons selected. No, oh, that is my bad. That is totes my goats my bad, because that means it wasn't shooting. So let's see now what's happening. Is it wrecked? Is it not wrecked? Okay, here he goes. Now he's opening. Open up the old coffer. I actually think we don't have any enemies left. Yeah, we really don't. Okay, there it goes. So I kind of, I dig, you know what's hilarious? The Deepwater Guard, who no longer exist, they actually don't uh, hate us as much as they used to. I think once once you fully, you know, dominate a, a faction, they sort of start to love you. They they come to your side, so to speak. It's like joining the dark side. Okay. So we've already got another battle underway. Goodness my, they are just, we're hitting them heavy today. We've got the Riverly Nut Fleet. I'm excited for this one, which, by the way, you know, uh, the last episode we did of the LP, the Mallard, uh, you know, I had lost the blueprint, which was a huge bummer, but uh, I realized, a couple people let me know, duh, I can just, you know, go do build mode on one of my, my current Mallards and uh, save, resave the constructible from, from what's there. So I've got the blueprint back, which is good. Now, what are we dealing with here? I'm seeing a Sparrow, but what else? Uh, a dark hammer. A dark hammer. You can say it's gross. Sparrow and a dark hammer. We've got the two rivers delights. I feel like these mallards, they're they're kind of pointless uh, when dealing with this group 
uh, when well, I'm sorry, when being fleeted with the uh, river's delight, I, they just never get a chance <laughs> to do anything, like ever, because this stuff happens right here. This is what always happens. So I'm, I've been thinking, what do I want to take over next? What faction do I want as you know the next faction of choice? Who do I want to target? I just don't know. They all look so fun. I would absolutely prefer to take the factions in order of, like, least difficult to most difficult, you know? I know Scarlet Dawn is, I think from what I hear, is, like, one of the hardest factions as far as, like, the techniques and the builds that they employ. But who do I want to go for next? I mean, we so far, our order of operation has been Deepwater Guard, the Onyx Watch, and now the White Flares. We have just a, quite a few choices. Like, there's the Grey Talons, there's the Steel Striders who are near us. Uh, I know there's a few others. I'm essentially, like, thinking anybody but Scarlet Dawn is, is what my mindset is on right now. Alright, this guy's way exploding right now. Way exploding. Another battle! Victory! Okay, I really want to see uh, the Grand Announcement Fleet come back into play. I really want to see how they do against a bigger, a bigger force. Kind of excited for that, gonna be honest. Let's go ahead and get some more spawning here. Slow it down. Ooh, this is really fast. Okay, they've got a stinger. They've got a stinger in two other ships. So we know we're going to have a small target. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, we're not starting that high up. Hang on. Whoop. As high as possible, please. Here we go. Raise them up. I want these guys to have the height advantage, honestly. And up we go. I love how slow they move. It's okay. Here we go. Look at them coming up. I love how the fleet moves. Like when you move the, the flagship and everybody moves in unison with you. It's, it's really cool. Perfect. I think we're ready. Do it. Oh, do it. Uh, the battle me, not Zex. The battle I mean. Yeah, you, you guys know what I mean. All right. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful day out right now. It's majestic. So we do have a buzzsaw. We do have... Okay, we do have missiles. So the real question will be how these guys are going to interact with each other and try to heal each other. Because if they don't, then... Suck diddly douch. Oh my gosh, what happened? He just disintegrated. I mean, oh my god, he just, like, super disintegrated. <laughs> okay, uh... So we have one, two, three, four, five. He's at twenty-one percent. What's left of him? Is that is that him down there? <laughs> okay, that sucks. All right, we're hitting the buzzsaw. Oh, we're we're definitely hitting them. Oh, we are we are super hitting them. Let's get up here. Let's get the good view and see what's going on. So it looks like everybody else healed themselves from that initial missile strike that the buzzsaw said. Oh no. What happened there? Oh, he took a pretty major hit. See, that's the point. These guys are, like, super cheap. Uh, even when you build them, they take, like, maybe 10 seconds to build, which is pretty cool. It's totally unfortunate that uh, one of them just utterly got wrecked in a single hit. That's the folly of a cheap build, you know? What are you, you going to do? Okay. I'm seeing lots of mines. Definitely getting hit a lot on this one. Uh, see, one of them's down to 82. Now he's back up to 95. Look how quick they heal each other, though. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Oh, yes, this is perfect. So once once you can stop the buzzsaw, if you can get him to stop moving, I mean, that's it. As far as, like, having mines in the ocean is concerned, this is what you want. Keep on coming down. Keep on coming down. It'd be, it would be great if, like, you could increase the magnetism of the mines, you know? Like, they're kind of following him, but the buzzsaw, he's moving just quick enough. He's got that, like, one engine going on right now, which is keeping him keeping him moving. But I still see hits, although I'm worried. Oh, we hit a stinger. Whew! I thought that was on one of my ships. Okay, so how are we doing? We're fully healed. We are at max heal right now. Max operational goodness... And this is, this is what you want to consider. Like, when you're thinking about creating, a, you know, like your own evil laboratory of sorts, you want to make sure you're working it to max operational goodness. 
Because that, that sets you apart from, from, you know, the other the other dogs. Keeping it real. So what is this? Something just floating. Alright, Sparrow down. It looks like my, my uh, grandiose Mark 1s are trying to take out this Sparrow. Let's see how they do. If they can land a grenade. Now, I've told my ships to shoot with max accuracy. Which, I don't know, it... it in, in my testing, before, if you know, the accuracy is set to like 45, and the spread of their shots is just huge. But when I moved it down to the as small as it could be, or as large as it could be, whatever, however you want to look at that, uh, it, it definitely, definitely helped them land hits more. Okay, so, good news, uh, the mines caught up with the buzzsaw, so we've got the buzzsaw down. Oh, oh, we're getting some hits! Oh, we are getting some hits! Oh, you guys, I'm a stinger! Sweet Jeebus! <laughs> he's not doing so bad. Look, now he's in a death spiral, though. Okay. Oh, you don't want to hit the water, my friend. Oh, don't hit the water. There are just a bunch of piranha down there. And we all know what happened. Boom! We all know! Jeez! Stinger down. Stinger down. So, what I would like to do... I guess we could roll with just four of these... But, whoa, oh, Jesus, sweet Christ, oh! Okay, sorry, sorry, everybody. That really freaked me out. I forgot that would happen. That really, like, f super freaked me out. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna get a vehicle blueprint spawner somewhere. I'm just gonna stick it on here, kind of weird. And we're gonna spawn another grandiose. Because I, wa I wanna have five, you know, I wanna have a, I wanna have it back. So let's see if let's see if this will spawn it in. I hope. Okay, here we go. We've got the repair tentacles doing their thing. Yeah, I was kind of bummed that uh, one of them just got decimated in a hit. But honestly, if you hit him just right, you know, you'll go through the alloy, through the mainframe, and you'll you'll hit those ammo barrels. There, there is not but a one meter thick piece of alloy <laughs> that is keeping, you know, the ammo barrels and stuff up in this piece. Alright, here we go. She's spawning in. This is pretty sweet. And then what I'll do, I'll, I'll spawn this in and I'll make it part of the fleet. What I really want to see, though, is a bunch of sea targets. You know, where we can just lace uh, the, the ocean or the sea with, the, with mines. Just everywhere. I just want to have mines freaking everywhere. Okay, I think he's, he's almost done. I bet he's like 80, 90% maybe. Oh, there he goes. Now he's done. So let's re let's release him. My phone. My f many apologies. I've got to seriously remember to uh, turn my phone off, put it on silent. So now what we'll do? Let's go ahead and fleet these guys. Merge fleets. Excellent. We're back. We are back. Uh, now where are where is everybody? Oh my God! Look how high up he is. Wow. What are you doing, friend? Whoa, what the? Okay, let's pull. Let's see what they're going to do. I want to make sure that their fleet force, uh, their fleet layout is correct. Whoa, they're like way up there. What? Holy, sh holy smoke a dragon. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, wow. These guys are way dupers high. Whoa. Okay. Oh, screw it. Let's... We'll go with it. I mean, whatever. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's keep moving. Alright, so we've got one fleet coming at the first Scroat Navy. We're going to continue. I want I want the grand announcement to take on this 66 force. That sounds super fun, doesn't it? I don't know why it wouldn't. That just sounds amazing right now. Alright, we've got the forces coming out. Coming out to play. And this is exactly what I want to do. I want to show them both of my middle fingers. All right, holding for yous. to battle, my friends. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be smart this time and actually look at my fleet composition. This isn't bad. I kind of like a big spread on these guys. A big spread of butter. Oh, all right, we're in. AI's on. Let's get the battle underway, shall we? Okay, and I don't have my weapons selected. I can't tell you how many times I do that where. If you just have your weapons selected, your AI won't take control. I would love for that to be a toggle. Uh, you know, where I could say, 
Even if my weapons are selected, let the AI take precedence, precedence over me. Like, that would be super sweet. Okay, um, this, I think this is a flayed soul. Was, was potentially a flayed soul. Let's take a look, look aroo here. Yep, flayed soul. He's already taken kind of a beating. Um, the sparrow. Ah, oh, poor sparrow. I just, I feel so bad for these little sparrows. When people build these, like, super cute ships. I don't know. Oh, he hit his own sparrow! You evil bastard. Look at him. He just, he sparrowed his buddy. Let's follow this missile and see what happens. Yeah, da 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 Hitting his friend. <laughs> oh, I love games. Seriously. I love games. Just the fact that that can happen, you know, it's it's worth it. So worth it. This is why we do the things we do. All right, both Holen Foyers have lined up. I dig the look of the Holen Foyer from afar. It's when you get close you realize it's kind of ugly, but from far away, I don't know. It kind of looks like a a ship of sorts, you know, semi legit. But yeah, once you get close, it's like oh, jeez. Somebody swung the ugly bat over there, didn't they? All right, I think that's we call that a battle. Let's get right to the next one. I want to just keep cranking these babies out. Not not like actual babies, because I'm a dude and I can't have babies. But you know what I mean, though. So here we go. We've got the the Riverly Nut fleet. We're going against. Uh, this should be it. This should be a super easy battle. Like way way super easy. All right, I do want to take a look at my fleet composition again. I'd like to be good about doing that. I want, I want you to be back a little bit. I'm a little OCD. I'd like him to be lined up. Okay. We're ready. Riverly Nut, go. All right. We're spawning in. The Mallards taking flight. I don't think the Mallards... I, I mean, they really haven't done that much, to be honest. Oh, oh, this is what's going on. I was wondering why my camera was so slow. It's because my camera speed is way freaking slow. Jeez. I just kept thinking everything was going in slow motion for some reason. All right. Uh, I do believe we have just dominated a sparrow. Oh, he's going to bite it. You going to land one? You can hear him. He Oh, his, in, his poor little engine. It's the engine that could. All up in this sparrow. He's trying to get up a hill right now. Not able to do it. Oh, three sparrow. I mean, wait, these aren't sparrows. These are stingers. People are probably like those scrote, those aren't sparrows, man. Those are stingers. See, look at look at what my freaking dumb ships are doing. Oh no. Fly me to the moon. Do 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 do. Mines falling on the river's delight. Here they come. Oh boy. Didn't think this one through. Really, I really gotta tweak the mallard. Uh, because now this is happening. I deserve it. I deserve every one of these. Oh, and all of these. Oh, 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 it hurts. Oh, that was a, I, you know, that was a really good hit. Took off 4%. All right, we've got another stinger down. All that's left is the mighty Retarius. And he's, he's actually not a bad ship. I mean, if each one of these missiles can connect, then, uh, you know, pretty fantastic, which is exactly what they're doing. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing down there, my friend? Oh yeah, he's doing it. Uh, we're down to 89%. Wow, I don't think we've ever taken so much damage. And I'm really... This is... <laughs> these mines? Hurry up and finish the battle so I can uh, despawn my ships. Go, go, go! And it looks like this one, this River's Delight, is just far enough away such that he's unable to heal this guy. Oh, wow! It finally happened. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it's gonna hurt! Oh, yep, that hurts. So many mines. Okay, uh, let's see. Can I get you over here? Come on, my friend. I need you to get, like, within uh, healing distance is what I want to see here. Come on, you can do it. I find it really hard to move these guys sometimes. Look at this! I am wrecking my own guy! Wow, what's... Okay, here we go. Now the heals are starting. I was going to say, what's the distance on these things? Of course, it stinks because I'm having to take all of my mind damage, but that's okay. All right. So we do have... Ah, heal on heal action. 
Handies for everybody. <laughs> Handies for all. Oh, they're so delightful. She's up to 85%. That's good. I highly recommend, if you ever have multiple ships in a battle, definitely always put the repair tentacles on them. Seems to be the best thing you could do. You know, because more, more likely than not, your ships, they're going to be close to each other. Wanting to be helpful, you know, getting in each other's grip. All right, how's it doing? Look, his uh, the firing animation is still on there. That's pretty hilarious. All right, 99%. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're back up and running. Okay, I want to do one more battle. I, I totally want to do a strength 64 against five grandiose Mark 1s. This, this will be the true test of their effectiveness. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, you little nut. I want max altitude. Okay, here we go. Max max altitude. All right, here we go. I'm excited for this. The ultimate test. So let's get down there. Let's see where we're at. Okay, well, we've got one that's like, he's never going to be touched. Whatever, it's cool. And let's make sure these guys can't go any higher. Uh, doesn't look like it. Nope, they are maxed. All right, okay, let's do this. Woo! Let's go see what we're dealing with. Uh, AI is on. Across the board. I see a Stinger. I see a Retarius that apparently has already shot himself. I see a Dark Hammer and a Buzzsaw. And here come the mines. Excellent. Here they come. Fallen, fallen, fallen. Oh, so... How did he get nailed so quick? What hit him? You, I wonder if it was a missile. He's out of control, though. And I don't know if he's within range. Oh, he is. Good. Oh, yeah. Suckle on those tentacles, my friend. So that took him down to 72%. 76%. I like seeing the heals. That number should increase here. At some point. Now he's getting heals from all over. Oh my god, they're all healing each other. Oh, I didn't think about kinetic damage. Oh no. Alright, the buzzsaw is taking some hits. You know what, I'm going to turn the interface off. So where's that other one? Oh, he's is he even shooting? Let's go look. What are you doing, my friend? Oh, he is. Wow. Dude, you are way up high. I don't really know how he got that high. Uh, probably from all the weed he was smoking. Okay, let's take a look. We're untouched right now. We have got to be lacing the ocean with mines, I imagine. Yeah, 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 I see, I see bits of, bits of stuff everywhere. Got mines over here, got mines over there. Oh yeah, we got mines jumping down on them. Little tiny hits everywhere, they're like the cutest little explosions. All right, so what else are we looking at? You know, we're still taking some hits. Like this guy just took... Ah, it's nighttime. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, grab your drinks, pull up your chairs, and we'll sit by the fire while we enjoy nighttime here and from the depths. It's these missiles this guy shoots. They're just, like, dominating. This makes it really hard to see what's going on right now. I imagine... You know what's great? That Retarius, or whatever that is, is shooting missiles at his own buzzsaw. Look at that. He just hit his own buzzsaw. Okay, let's get up here. And let's see what we can see. Sometimes you just have to sit back and enjoy the majesty of the shot, you know? Like, look at all these shots coming out. How are we doing? Okay, still untouched. I mean, sorry, not necessarily untouched, just, you know... Currently untouched. Oh, there we go. There we go. Took something out there. Great. And this this buzzsaw, he, he seems to still be the active target, which is really good. The buzzsaw is just going to kill himself by slowly trying to navigate a minefield. So we really, really need to go after this flayed soul. That would be super fabulous right now. And I still see tons of mines coming down. Screenshot. Dingleberries. <laughs> I like how these little mines look. They're just so tiny. Look at them. 
He's beautiful. All right, so let's get let's get a lay of the land again. There's all five of our guys. We're still launching mines like crazy. Let's take a look at the buzzsaw's health because this will let us know is this even is this even working? Oh no, that's my own ship. Hang on. Okay, I mean we've taken off a couple hundred blocks. I just don't know if they've been focusing on the buzzsaw right now, or you know what their deal is. Okay, so the flayed soul. You know, I'm not seeing a lot of mines everywhere. Are these guys still shooting? Let's take a look. Yeah, they, they definitely are. Yeah, yeah. They definitely are. Okay, and I'm seeing all the mines. Maybe it's just been dark, and then that's kind of the reason. Definitely some good stuff. So, I, you know, it's obvious what I need now is, like, five more Grandiose Mark 1s. Okay, so now's our chance to strike on the buzzsaw. It's when he does this. This is our chance. Oh, and we got a lot of mines coming down. Let's let's get the underwater view. See if any of these are gonna hit. Oh, yep, okay. There there's a hit. Yeah, that's good. Oh, more hits. Definitely in the engine. Wow, he He's really going down there. Look, his oh no, his front saw came off. Oh, Bummer, Buzzsaw. That's that's always depressing to see. Look at all the mines. Just kind of floating, you know, being miney. Oh, and we've got a direct hit on the Flayed Soul. He bloweth upeth. Oh, we've got a direct hit on our own guy. 80% health. Binox out. Okay, his helicopter part came off. Maybe these guys can repair him uh, before he falls too far. It doesn't look like it. I think he may be cascading downwards. That's not good. Not good, ladies and gents. All right, we the buzz this is going to be the end for these two. I mean, look at all the mines over here. Look at all of them. They're it's like a school of fish jumping majestically, being beautiful mines. The buzz stalls. I mean, what do you do in this situation? It's like, do you see all the mines? Do you just sit back? Do you try to sail through them? I'm trying to figure out, you know, what the best thing to do would be. Okay, so where's this guy? He's right here. Hey, he recovered. Oh my gosh. Oh, so they got a hit off way up there. He barely got hit, but... Okay. I'm just noticing that the starry background looks a little hilarious when you zoom in too much. So here's what I'm thinking. With these grandiose Mark 1s, I feel like it's it's death by by fire ants or something, you know? Like it takes just millions of hits to take these guys out. And I mean that's okay. It's just making me wonder like I wonder if I could tweak these guys some. Add, you know, like an extra warhead to the to the mines, or an extra two, or rain dot off equals true. I think I got it. I don't know. I wanted, I was playing around some in the vehicle designer with, with the grandiose Mark 1s. Oh, they, they just look beautiful. Hang on, what's falling out of the sky? <gasps> oh, one of my launchers. Oh, look at it. If I had a video camera right now. I don't know what I'm talking about. I am recording this. I am... That was the dumbest thing... I could have said, all right, that guy's dead. So here's what we're left with. A totally chewy chomped buzzsaw and a marrow pulper. And I have a feeling the grandiose Mark 1s are going to be focusing on these two guys right now. Rain off for the second time. I definitely see some mines. I love the way that they do this right here. Watch, they'll jump and then they'll like magnetize to their target and then just go right towards it. Boosh. Oh yeah, they're landing some direct hits now. Look how high up they are. It's just... It's crazy. It's freaking sweet. Okay. So the marrow pulper and the buzzsaw. It's its like their final last dance together, you know? They're like, we're... They know they're dying, but they love each other. And they're down here in the ocean. They're together. they are It's like a, an episode of Waterworld, except they're friends. And there's no Kevin Costner with weird, you know, webbed feet gill thingies or whatever 
Kevin Kevin Costner's cool though. I dig him. I, I'm not dissing him. I like some of his movies. Like Robin Hood is a pretty good movie. I haven't seen Robin Hood in a while. Oh, speaking of movies, since we're just you know watching the random mind stuff rain down, I totally scoped out the interview last night. Pretty good movie actually. It was pretty funny. I I went into it with like little to no expectations though. And I'm also the kind of guy who who just enjoys a good, you know, kind of comedy, humor flick. I don't ever expect too much from them and their movies, so, you know, why not? But yeah, it was pretty good, and, and uh, it was up on Netflix. That's the only reason I watched it. It was free. Although I guess technically it wasn't free because I'm, I'm paying for Netflix, so should watch out what I'm saying. Okay. Okay, that was... So this was incredible. Five cheap, grandiose Mark Ones... Took out a a strength 66. What was that, like a force count 4? Oh, we've still got a dark hammer. Let's watch. Let's see if the mines can get close enough. They they may have to uh, gain a little distance here. And I love the way these guys fly, by the way. Like this. Look at them. And sometimes they'll do like these hilarious loop-de-loops once they start shooting. Yeah, look at this. And now we start shooting. It's so It's so incredible. I just love the way all the physics come together in this game. Okay, here we go. The dark asshole is now being targeted. Oh, they're coming. They are coming. Oh, my friend. I'm so sorry. He's like, floor it, Cletus. We got to get out of here, brah. Like a bat out of Hades. We're going nowhere with these weird little pointy paddles. <laughs> they aren't doing anything. <laughs> oh, look at them. It's just, they're like little fish. Look at all of them. My God. Whee! They're just jumping, looking all beautiful. Whee! I, I find enjoyment in the weirdest things. I mean, look at that. That, to me, is hilarious. Okay, I should zoom back in over here where the action's at. Oh, or where the action was. Wow, we did it. And, hang on. Hang on. We got an out of control. Wow, how far is this guy? What are you doing? Let me pull the fleet and see where they go, because, holy smokes... He, man, he was really going a weird direction. It's like he all of a sudden realized he was nowhere near these other guys. You know what would be great for these mines is a regulator tank. So they can last, a what? So, so a mine right now will last 60 seconds from launch to the end of 60 seconds and then they auto explode. What would be cool is to put a regulator tank on there so that they last 180 seconds. That's three minutes that they're floating around. All right, so I want this guy like... Man, I can... I don't know why he's able to raise up so much. That's really strange. I'd like him to get a little bit... Here we go. There we go. That... That feels better. Okay. And then we'll raise him up. Get their altitude set. Get this guy fixed real quick. I highly recommend doing this, by the way. At first, I didn't know if it was really worthwhile, but... This is, this is your chance to you know, position your fleet. It's it's your positional opportunity. So you, I want you to just... Great. I just tabbed out. Super, super swell. Awesome. I'm back in. I love, I love when that happens. Okay. So that was another victory. All that is left of the white flares are these two pretty big size groups but we're already like at the 40 minute mark so i'm going to cut this episode here we now have three solid fleets that we can roll around with first scrote navy the rivoli nut and the grand announcement and they're each sort of effective in their own way so in the next episode what we'll do is we'll start by taking these out and then we'll we'll go ahead and start somewhere else like we could we could do the twin guard here here's the ones i'm thinking about twin guard great talons Hmm. Or the Lightning Hoods. That could be fun. Yeah, heck, I would say any of these four. So, Twin Guard, Grey Talons, Steel Striders, or the Lightning Hoods. I, I, I want to do one of those four. I'd, I'd like to choose the next easiest. Because, honestly, like I'm, I just want to ramp myself up across the board and see how we do. But hey, good news. Look how much we've taken out of this, out of the faction map so far. We... We have grown strong. The Scrote Navy is uh, slowly taking over land and making it their own. So everyone, thank you so much for hanging out today. This was a really fun episode. 
Employing new builds is always a blast. Can't wait till the next one. I hope you guys join me. And until next time, you guys take it easy and stay classy.